Hey, good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. Pastor Jay, Jason here with our check-in video up here in the parking lot at church as we get ready, ready to hand out some blessing bags today. Just want to invite you to be in prayer for us, for those who, whom we meet, whom we may be able to meet and serve to today. It should be should be just a glor a glorious day, in spite of the winds, in spite of the clouds, in spite of the fact that it might rain. It's going to be a beautiful day today, friends. A um, couple reminders about tomorrow before we get into our scripture for today. We are back in person tomorrow, inside for worship. Weather permitting, we will be outside in front of Asbury at 8.30 a.m. Then we are in the sanctuary at 9.30, then in the FLC at 11 o'clock. We will be streaming both the traditional service at 9.30 and the contemporary service at 11 a.m. So if you want to worship at home, your options are 9.30 and 11 starting tomorrow. If you come and worship with us in person, we do ask that you are in a mask that is required when you are inside. If you're one who's been worshiping with us online for a while and haven't ventured out to see us yet or have never been here before, please know please please know that you are so welcome and so invited to come join us tomorrow we're doing everything we can to make sure that we are safe there we will be taking temperatures at the door there's hand sanitizer all over the place we will all be in masks pews and seats are marked off so we can be distanced and spaced it's going to be a little diff di different than what we might be used to but it is still going to be so powerful to come back together and be together for worship friends we look so look forward to seeing you tomorrow all right scripture le lesson that i want to share for us this morning it's one that came up in my d devotional reading this week i want to off offer up for us all to consider today some some words some words from paul this comes from the first Thess thessalonians chapter 2 we're going to start at Verse 3. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words or flattery or with a pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise from mortals, whether from you or from others. Though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ, but we were gentle among you, like a nurse, tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our very own selves, because you have become very dear to us. And that, that last verse there is what I want us to spend some time thinking about today, friends. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our very own selves. Friends, are we willing to be that vulnerable? Are we willing to be that open? Are we willing to be that honest? As we seek to minister to our friends and neighbors, as we seek to minister to the world around us, as we seek to create the change that, that God is so desperately seeking to make here on earth, that we're willing to not only just read scripture, not only just to offer to pray for people, not, not only just to share the gospel, but to share of our very own selves make ourselves available to listen and to talk and to grieve with people to hear other people when they speak are, are, are we willing are, are we available and are we open to share ourselves not just the gospel to share of ourselves not just our opinions to share of our very selves not just our thoughts and our ideas that's what Paul Paul so desperately trying to get the Thessalonians to to understand. 
it's, it's about an intimate, close relationship. So desperately does Paul care for them that yes, he's there to preach the gospel first and foremost, but more than that, he also wants to get to know them, to care for them tenderly and intimately. What is it gonna take for us to get there too, friends? What is it gonna take for us to move from just a place, just a church, where there's good preaching and good music, just a place where we share the gospel, but also a place where people can know that they are genuinely cared for. We are Christ's representatives when we do those things. Friends, may we embrace that. May we embrace that this day and every day moving forward. Friends, I hope you have a great day. And if you're able to crack open your Bibles, 1 Thessalonians chapter 8, was verses three through um, chap, chapter two, verses three through eight that we shared from t today. So look, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Indoor, in-person worship, traditional 9.30 a.m. in the sanctuary. We will be streaming that live as well. Contemporary 11 a.m. in the Family Life Center. We'll be streaming that. Weather permitting 8.30 a.m. out in front of as Barry chat chapel we can't wait to see you friends be safe be well remember how much that you are loved thank you so much bye